That's power. If you have uh, the ability to ask the Creator of all heaven and earth, everything, the Creator, if you have the ability to walk in there and ask Him to do something for you, and in fact it gets done, that's miraculous. There's no way around it. It is, because number one, you're not deserving to do that, but only by His blood. And the other is that he would give you an ear, as important as he is. Right. You go try to see the governor of this state. Yeah. Try to walk in his office. Yeah. See if you don't get stopped by guards, secretaries, and everything, and everybody else. Or uh, try to see Obama. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> well, these, you're not you're just not going to get in because you're That's not right. known by. Him. Come on. It's not against the person, the governor, or whatever. <laughs> But God Almighty, who is far more important than these earthly people, invites you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To come in. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. So, I encourage you to recognize that. Take advantage of it. Look in Luke 24, please. Luke chapter 24. Thank you, Lord. God is good, isn't he? Yes, he is. Luke chapter 24, verse 45, says, Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the Scriptures. I love the Scripture there. The Holy Ghost, the power in the Holy Ghost, one of the greatest powers of the Holy Ghost is that he reveals Jesus yeah. to you. Amen. Now, yes. Jesus and the Word are one, so, Amen. so He reveals the Word to you that's right. in a manner that's not a natural understanding. Mm -hmm. right. Now, we've had people, and still have people, that spend years studying the Bible from a natural standpoint. And to some degree, that is good. But if you just do it from a natural standpoint, without the Holy Spirit's revelation opening your inner eyes, mm -hmm. then you're going to get off into the letter again, right. into the law, into condemnation. And uh, here Jesus says, I, He opened their understanding that they might understand the Scriptures. Hallelujah. I have a problem, saints. I, I have to... I have to take another rabbit trail here. I have a problem reading a book, Bible notes, watching a TV program, listening to a radio broadcast, if I know the people, the teacher speaks against the gifts and against the Holy Ghost. I have a serious problem with that. Oh yeah. The reason why is a little leaven leavens the whole lump. So if you're getting twisted or tainted, you wouldn't take a piece of bread and eat it. It's got mold all over it, would you? No. Well, what you're getting in there is tainted goods. Mm -hmm. And you might say, well, I'm going to pick out the bones and keep the meat. Well, I don't know if you're able to do that, to be honest with you. You're back into your own strength if you think you can. Yep. God has to reveal to us His Word. And if I already know that someone is teaching incorrectly, I need to leave them alone. Yeah. 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 Quick. So true. Just yeah. set it down and right. do something else. Right. Hallelujah. Right. That's why you have a church. You know that, right? <laughs> That's why you have pastors, Amen. leaders in your church to help guide you, to keep you on track. Because there's a lot of weird stuff that goes on out there. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. There's a lot of ungodly stuff in the name of God. There's a lot of religion out there. When we don't want to be religious, we Amen. just want to love God. Amen. 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 And uh, we don't have cable TV in the house, thank God. And uh, so we watch movies. We, we rent the DVDs or we go to the house and we watch them. And the, even the Christian movies, it's very, very much... Because the the writer, the directors, the producers, um, the actors, 
they um, are watered down. Yeah. And they um, are attributing to God doing evil and thinking it's religious. We watched the movie. You'll know which one it is. I know you will. Know. I don't, I'm not slamming any movie. I don't mean to be. We watched the movie where the girl got her arm bit off by the shark. They were singing that song in there. You know, attributed to God. Come on. Now, I enjoyed the movie outside of that idea. But if somebody does not know God is not the author of those things, they watch that movie and, and they fall for it. And it's visual and it just implants in them that God does these things so that we can suffer for His glory. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. There was a, and still is, a minister out that's in a wheelchair. And uh, I, I'm very, very much, uh, my heart goes out to this person for being in a chair. I would not want to experience or have to deal with it. But uh, this person has chosen to deal with it by attributing it to God has put them there in order to help people, to reach more people. Well, my question is, if you come out of that chair and give God the glory, yeah. how many more people are you going to reach? Right. 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 Hallelujah. Right. But you, you understand, listen, please don't condemn this person because... Listen to me. This is very important. This person is dealing with a very traumatic event. And thank God you're not dealing with it. Amen. So don't you judge this person. And don't you be upset with this person. Because they they have are, are dealing with the best they can emotionally. And it would be beyond traumatic to end up in a chair the rest of your life. So I understand where they're coming from, but I'm not condoning it. If you understand what right, I'm saying, I'm not right. saying it's right to right. do it, but I'm not I'm not trying to be upset with the person 